Let's start by building a new container image with Podman. We will reuse the same container file and build it by running podman build -f container file -t dockerless curl latest. Just to remind, podman has most of the builder source code compiled into it, meaning that podman build is identical to builder build command. If we compare the output of podman images and builder images commands, we won't see any difference. Both of the tools rely on the same storage for container images. To run the container, we are going to use podman run command, which works exactly the same as docker run. It accepts the same arguments up to the point that you can alias docker to podman and everything will work just fine. I'm running podman run minus it localhost docker is curl and curl mkdf.me. We can set some environment variables as well. We're running the same podman run command, but this time adding minus e high equals mkdf environment variable. Podman CLI was intentionally modeled after the Docker CLI to simplify the transition process. There is a separate package named Podman Docker that sets up different aliases and symlinks, allowing you to use Docker commands, which in fact will be executed by Podman. Let's run another container with a terminal inside. If we check who am I, we will see that we are root inside the container. I can do some root level things like installing packages. But outside of the container, container process is running under the user who started it. We can verify this by finding container ID via podman ps and then inspecting this container ID with podman inspect. And afterwards, checking this process ID in the process table. This is due to the Linux user namespaces. The user ID 0 in the container is mapped to the user ID that started the container, for example. We can find this mapping inside slash proc slash process ID and then check in the UAD map file. Besides user namespaces, Podman also uses network namespaces as well as cgroups v2 and a number of other relatively new and advanced Linux features to achieve rootless containers. As a result, Almost all the features of Podman do not require privileged access. The consequence of Podman relying so much on the advanced Linux features is that you cannot use Podman on other operating systems. Containers need to run inside some Linux machine. Podman can be a drop-in replacement for Docker, but it's not just a copy of Docker. In the next lesson, we will talk about some of the more advanced and unique features of Podman. There are no challenges that we couldn't overcome. Whether it is immediate infrastructure problems or planning a future project, we won't simply answer your questions. We become a part of your team to help you complete the mission. Our solutions consider the interests of your business and the combined expertise of the industry as our staff is made up of more than a dozen experts in different areas who share decades of field-tested experience and knowledge with you.